I've been using Gorilla Tag mods for over a year now, and in that time, I had a lot of people ask me how to get mods and what are the best mods in Gorilla Tag. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get mods and some of the best mods that you can use in Gorilla Tag right now. But first, I want to show you guys this mod menu that I have. You gotta be kidding! And guys, this is one of the only real ways that you're able to get mods. And if you guys see any of those like fake modding videos, just don't even click on them. Now here are the few things that you need before you can start modding in Gorilla Tech. The first thing you need is obviously your Oculus headset. Second you need is a link cable, which could either be a USB to a USB-C, or whatever cable that is pretty long that can connect from your Oculus to your computer. And if you guys want to play wirelessly, you guys are going to have to get, like, you guys must have really good internet and a good PC. Anyways, after you have your laptop, laptop or PC ready with your link cable, these are the next steps you're going to want to do. Next, you guys are going to want to go down into my video's description, which should look like something like this, but it could look a little bit different. You should see a little Discord link right there. You guys are going to want to click the Discord link. And if you guys don't know what Discord is or you just don't have it, it's very simple to set up. All you have to do is make your own free account and join the server and it's completely safe. Once you click on my server invite, it should show something like this. And if you guys who don't know how to use Discord or really work anything, I'll be showing you guys that too. You see, once you're on my Discord server, you should be put in the welcome area or some random channel or something. Anyways, the next thing you guys are going to want to do is you're going to go down to the category that says mods tutorials and you can see these very cool mods, which you guys actually do after you get the mods tutorial. First thing you guys are going to want to do is make sure you click on the Oculus software thing right here. And now you see, you need the Oculus software downloaded for any of your mods to be able to run or you even be able to run Gorilla Tag. Now once you click on it like this, it should say potential dangerous download. And this does not mean that it's a virus. Most every single download on Discord shows this and it's completely safe. Most of the time though, if someone sends you a really sketchy file, don't just immediately download it because it could be a virus. After you click continue to download, you should see this pop up right here, the Oculus setup. And if you guys don't know how to download it or whatever, this meta made like this tutorial or whatever, you can download it and like set it up and stuff. But yeah, you can just click agree. And if it ever asks you to like pair your headset, you don't actually have to do that. Just click skip or something. Once you're completely done, it should look something like this when you're signed into your Oculus account. And now, if you were planning to use legal mods and you're not trying to get banned, I guess I literally just was yapping right here. But basically what I'm trying to say, if you don't want to get banned, just all you need is the Oculus account and you don't need Steam. But if you don't care about being banned and you want to use like illegal mods, then download Steam and the Oculus app. Now first I'll be showing you guys what to do if you just want to keep your cosmetics and stuff. First you guys are going to do is once you download it and you have your Oculus set up right here. The first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go back to the Discord and click on Mod Manager right there. Once you click on Mod Manager, it just says, this is the new Monkey Mod Manager. And this is the newest version of the Monkey Mod Manager. And yeah, it is safe, guys. Once you click on it like this and you finish the download. And now, guys, this is a common issue that you're going to have if you don't follow these steps. Once you download Monkey Mod Manager, it should say we couldn't seem to find the Gorilla Tag installation. For anything to actually work, you guys are going to want to go to your library on the Oculus app and look up Gorilla Tag. I mean, no, on the store, I mean. Anyways, but the Gorilla Tag costs $20 on, like, anything. So if you just want any chance of getting mods, you're going to have to pay $20. Just go to the Monkey Mod Manager and make sure to download it. Once you click it here, you want to open it like this. You see, it should ask you to, like, search for the Gorilla Tag installation. So this is what you're going to want to do. You're going to go down to this PC. You're going to click on your drive. And you want to scroll down to Program Files. And guys, this is different if you're on Steam and Oculus. I'll show you guys both ways. Next, you guys are going to click on Oculus. Once you click on Oculus, you want to click on Software. Then click on Software again. Then it should say another Axiom Gorilla Tag. You just want to click on that, and then click on Gorilla Tag. Then you want to click Open. Now you can see up here, it says Program Files Oculus Software. If that's a Steam, just do that thing again. Anyways, after you have this done, what you want to do is you're going to scroll down, and it should say Utila right here. Now, this Utila is actually broken right now. It may be fixed in the future. You guys are going to want to go to back to my Discord server and click on the new channel that I actually just made called Utilifix. Once you see this right here, you're going to want to download the Utila. Once it says it download unverified file, it says it could be dangerous. <laughs> Just download it. It's not actually a virus or anything. All you want to do is click on the downloads and drag and drop the utility you just downloaded from my server into the utility folder that you just downloaded. Once it shows up right there, all you want to do is 
delete this one right here. And once it shows the new utility, you wanna delete the old utility. And if it says like replace file, you're gonna wanna click that. And let's say you wanna get cool legal mods like the lightsaber mod or even the bark mod. Now for the bark menu, it's actually in monkey mod match. you are able to click bark by clicking this ch uh, check mark right here. Then you're able to click install this update and then it's in your plugins. Anyways, but if you guys wanna get like all those different mods like the uh, lightsaber mod and the uh, custom map mod just join my discord server and there should be channels like that uh, to download the mods now for the people who are on steam all right guys i forgot to tell you guys for the people who are on steam basically what you gotta do is you gotta go to google and look up steam download once you click steam download you want to click on the first link then click install steam and then you just have to set it up by opening it now once you've set up steam it should show something like this and you're in all you have to do is go up to your store and look up Gorilla Tag. Oh, next you just have to buy Gorilla Tag and install it. Now, once you buy Gorilla Tag on Steam and you download Gorilla Tag, that's the next thing you're gonna do. Go to my Discord right here and you wanna click on Monkey Mod Manager and download the Monkey Mod Manager, which is completely safe. Once you download Monkey Mod Manager, it should say to explore to find Gorilla Tag. Then it should open up this file. You're gonna go to this PC, Windows, Go down to Program Files x86, go down to Steam, scroll down to Steam Apps, then click Common, then go down to Gorilla Tag, then you want to click on this Gorilla Tag, but don't double click on it or it will open. You just want to click on it once, then click Open. Then you want to click Install slash Update. Once you go into your mods folders, it should show util. You guys won't have all these other folders. All you'll have is util. Once you open it up, this is actually a broken version of utila. And you want to go down to the channel on my Discord called Utilifit. Once you have this utila downloaded and you go to your and you have the file in your hand like this in your mouse, you're gonna want to drag it into here like that. But you just want to click replace and it should replace the files or whatever. If it doesn't replace on its own, you guys are just want to delete the old utila file. If you don't want to get legal mods, and you want to get illegal mods, in whichever the best mod menus are working at the time, we put those at the very top of the very cool mod section. And once you download the DLL or the file, all you have to do is drag and drop it into your folder below Utila. Don't put it in Utila, but put it like below it. Now guys, I'm standing right next to my PC, and once you have your cable connected from your headset into your PC, it should show something like this. You're gonna wanna go to your settings icon right now, guys. I'm standing right next to my PC. And once you have your cable connected from your headset into your PC, it should show something like this. You're gonna wanna go to your settings icon right here. Then you wanna click on settings. Then you wanna click on system. And you'll go down to quest link. Right here in quest link, it should automatically be toggled off. And you just wanna to toggle it on. And you, it should show another section called quest link. Now, if you don't have your cable connected, it should just show some weird loading symbol like this. If you have your cable connected, it should just show a PC right here. With here we go. Once you log in, it should show something like this. Anyways, once you have Grill Tag installed, you can go onto your computer or you can use the desktop feature like this. And you just have to click start. And then it might seem like nothing's happening, but then eventually you will load into Grill attack with your mods now instead of launching grill tag in your octopus but because you, you shouldn't have bought that if you're using steam and you just want to click on play then you should say launch grill tag in steam vr mode then you click play and guys one more feature if you're playing on steam vr before you load up grill tag you want to search up steam vr in this in the store or whatever and you want to download that make sure you have this steam vr downloaded now you see once you're in grill tag i have all the mods that i have installed as you can see right here have my cosmetics if I wanted to. As you can see, whatever mod I have, like I have the camera mod, which shows up on my PC. Like on my computer screen, it shows this gorilla tag, which is very cool. And congrats, you've now learned the correct way to download mods. And there's no other way, like how to get mods without a PC or quest mods. Those are all fake. They're all gonna show you some weird fan game or download some old version of the game. They're all just scamming you or clickbaiting you. Anyways, guys, you guys want to learn different things like how to get a soundboard and stuff. I will put those tutorials in my server also. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.